Yo, my people, I haven't fallen asleep. Don't worry, I was just prepping myself here. Obviously, it's been a little, well, it's been a long while since I've done a watch along for the UFC. And as people in the UK know, what's the time now? 3 45 in the morning. I see what 60 people here waiting. It's all mad. Listen, love for the love people. You know what it is already. Um, it's good I didn't log on for that Dan Hooker fight car. That Puelez or whatever his name was, Prince of Peru or whatever he calls himself. I don't know what he was on there. I don't. I'm, I'm happy for Hooker. Don't get me wrong. I like Hooker as a you know character person. Um, he seems like a good guy. He's had a little rough time recently, so that was a decent fight for him to come back to. I say come back to, but that was a decent fight for him to pick up a win. But in the end, it was just look at it. What 160 here? Yeah, come on, people, come on. I was expecting roughly 50 to 100 considering the time, but then you know what it is already. People from all over the world are tuning into the big six, tuning into the Arsenal content or what used to be Arsenal content on the channel. I don't do enough of that no more, but I keep promising people I'll be doing more and I will be doing more. This is actually more. Um, I'll be doing these for every big, big um, cards. Not only UFC, but boxing too. Not that there's big cards in boxing often, um, maybe big fights and even that, not that there's many big fights in boxing often. I see a lot of people and said, Turkish, do you sleep with my hat? Yeah, I do. I do. Anyone got a problem with that? Keep it moving. Let me see what the chat is saying anyway. From early, going to be a sick card, says NAET. And the prelims, I, I said the prelims were good, but the way, um, what's her name? Blanchfield, the way she dealt with Molly McCann it was uh, and for such a young woman as well that was actually class um another way Ray has got knocked out as well yeah it is what it is it is what it is let me go through the chat good to see Frankie Edgar yeah he, he's he's about to come out now or is he out already I see what's his, what's this guy's name Gutierrez here already but yeah Edgar you know what it is when once you get knocked out in the UFC, um, well, once you're known as someone with a granite chin and you get knocked out, it pretty much signals the end. And ever since that first knockout, I don't know if, when was Edgar first knocked out. Maybe maybe a good four years ago now, actually, off the top of my head. But since then, I know he's been knocked out a few times. Um, another good guy, another. Um, OG. I won't call him a legend, but I'll call him an OG. Uh, but yeah, I hope he does his thing. Is this his last fight? I'm not too sure. He's past 40 now. Um, but yeah, it might be his last fight. He's got energy running to the ring, to the cage there. He needs to save that energy. Sorry, people. I'm just catching up with the chat as well. Big up Dave Jordan in the building. Come on. Man said muted. What's muted, my bro? Come on. Turkish seems dead. No, I'm not dead, man. I'm here. I'm here. Probably sleeping. Did he fall asleep? Nah, you have to wait for the, 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 the bigger fights. And obviously, Poirier Chandler's coming up after this one. And yeah, the, the, you know, I think Chandler said it, the people's main event. I'm not all the way with him on that because Adesanya Pereira is an interesting fight for me. Um, we'll, we'll get into it all. We'll get into it all anyway. Um, but yeah. Big, big cards. Esparza against Zhang as well. Listen, I'm looking forward to that fight. I think Zhang needs... I, I hope Zhang does it, but I think... Yeah. I think it's good that she's got another chance. Obviously, Rose you know, finished her in the first one, decision in the second one. Um, it didn't look good for Zhang. Um, but I believe her and um, Joanna, I won't try and pronounce the surname, but that fight from a few years ago was... One of the best, one of the best MMA fights I've I've ever seen. Um, went the whole way, all five rounds, and since then I thought, you know what, Zhang, I hope she gets the title. You know, I hope. Well, I hope she, you know, um, gets the title and keeps hold of it for a little while. Sorry, people. My son's up in bed as well, and he, he conked out early. So I know he's due to be up real soon asking for some sort of milk or something. So pardon me if I have to leave the stream midway. I won't be doing it during, during the main card. But if I have to leave, I'm going to have to leave. I will pause, not pause, but I'll put some sort of screen up. And look, the lighting's going. Look at this. What's going on? Let me see what's going on here. Let me 
me see what's going on here. Oh, it looks like the battery's run out for the for the light. I'm gonna have to plug it in soon enough, people, but I will plug that in real soon. Let me just get to the chat. What's my prediction? What's my hey Abdul? Calm it down, my guy. Ask me once and I will answer it. And Blue says prediction for Poirier Chandler. <clears throat> Poirier. I think I think Chandler's gonna try and mix it up, and, and that's probably the wrong thing for him to do. Um <laughs> Man said forgot to pay electricity. No, it's not even that. It's not even that. But yeah, Poirier, I think I think Chandler will try go in on Poirier and that'll be his downfall. Um, I see a knockout win for Poirier. But it's one of those fights that can go any which way. Even with Poirier, you know, I don't know where he, his head is really at. I know he's got that chili sauce deal with um, the UFC now. And when you look at his tra trajectory, sorry, Top top fighter, you know, dispatched a McGregor in that in that second fight between them. Um, similar to what I said about Edgar about being knocked out. You know, that knockout from McGregor for me signaled the end. It, not necessarily Khabib because styles make fights, and in my opinion, again, it's my opinion. Wrestling is probably the ultimate martial art, especially when it comes to MMA. And I think we're seeing that with Islam Makashev. I think we're going to see that with Kamzat as well. Um, we saw it with Khabib. And the Edgar fight has just um, started as well. I'm going to keep an eye on that in the background. Not what I'm too interested in. But yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on it in the background. Yeah, so Poirier knockout for me is the prediction. Um, but like I said, it's one of those ones that can go any which way. Chandler for me, he's coming to the UFC. And listen, he's been involved in some... some <laughs> really good fights because his his style is like a goal get him style um whether it's a loss against gaichi or a knockout of ferguson he's he, he i think he's had four fights and all of them bangers even with Oliveira, he, he wobbled him and then he, he he got dispatched pretty soon after that i'm 50 50 on chandler you know i know he built a name for himself pre-ufc um but so far in the ufc i, I you know it's, it's, it's definitely a step up. I think he's 2 2 off the top of my head. Maybe you lot can correct me if I am wrong because it is off the top of my head. But yeah, am I watching the cricket in the morning? Niru, I don't, I don't fuck with cricket, I'll be honest with you, um, to put it lightly. I don't. Um, the sports main one for me, football, you already know, and then UFC and boxing, even though boxing over the years has been. Yeah, touch and go to say the least. To say the least. <laughs> Marley said Jacka should go UFC. I reckon he'd do bits. <laughs> He's doing bits for us at the moment. So um long may that continue. Long may that continue. It's a welcome change. So fingers crossed that continues for the rest of the season. Listen, we're top of the league. We're top of the league. Five points clear. I know this is a UFC watch along, but how can I not mention it? Listen, I'm gonna let, let me plug in this light. Let me plug in this light. I said, I think you're my dad. I don't know about that, my guy. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk boxing as well, Pat. Um, oh, my. And there, there goes Edgar. Like I said, once you get knocked out, you know, it, it's, the, it's the end. It's the end. So, yeah, that fight's done. Quicker the better, I guess. On to Poirier Chandler. But, yeah, yeah. Um, Boxing is hurting right now, Pat. It is. It is. And when you see UFC thriving in the way it is, and by thriving in the way it is, I'm, I don't care about PPV numbers. I don't care about the biggest and who's getting paid. What I care about is entertainment. It's a sport at the end of the day. And what the UFC do, and, and credit to Dana White on this, is make the big fights. You know, if there's a fight to be made, best believe that fight's going to be made. Within six months to a year, um, every big fight is pretty much made in the ufc so that is the big difference in boxing is there's too much politics going on dave jordan says frankie goes bye bye yep he sure did he sure did 230 in the building hit the like button if you haven't already um cameron said no kelly my guy i'm live after our, off camera you know we move we move what's good turkish you good i'm all good quicker the better these nights get longish <laughs> very true you see these fights, quicker the better. Make it snappy. Just make it snappy. 
I can't find your match reaction on AFTV. I didn't do an interview today. Um, reason being because James run full time. Usually it's me or Rob or even Cecil there. Rob and Cecil went to the game. So it was it was me on, you know, James running full time. It was me on my own. And I'm not about to just, you know, interview myself or speak directly to camera about it. But I am here. So any questions about it in between the fights, then yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> Um, Deji versus Floyd tomorrow. That kind of sums up the state of boxing, if I'm honest with you. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And I know it's an exhibition, and I know maybe it was retired and all of this stuff, but boxing's all over the gaff at the moment. That knee was sweet. That knee was sweet. Didn't even need to follow up. Clean. Knockout. See you later, Edgar, man. See you later. Um, where are we? Boxing's a shambles. Yep. Who's our most important player? Hard to say. We've got a few. It's, you know, who would argue against Partey? Who would argue against Jesus? Who would argue against Saliba? Who would argue against... Well, I'd say they're the main three. Partey, Jesus and Saliba. But then you can add Saka, you can add Martinelli, you can add a Ben White, you can add a Ramsdale, you can add a Xhaka, you know. Um, Odegaard's our top scorer now this season after those two goals. It's, you know, everyone's pulling their weight, but in terms of depth, then Partey and Jesus, who's fighting? Well, Edgar was just fighting Gutierrez and it didn't last long. I, I, did it last? Did it even last two minutes? No, no. It is what it is. Edgar, you've done, you've done your thing here, but, you know, your time is up. <laughs> your time is up. Dominic Reyes' knockout was brutal. It was brutal. And I remember Reyes pushing um pushing John Jones all the way. Was it John? Was it Reyes? I think yeah, it was Reyes. A good three, four, four, four years ago now. Yeah, Reyes pushed John Jones all the way. And I, you know, it was one of those fights that it could have gone either way, if I'm honest with you. But obviously John Jones legend and um you know, his name, I guess that's probably what won it. I guess he did win the fight, but Reyes was a, a decent comp um, competition for him. Ever since then, he's kind of fallen off to the point where he's on the prelims and, yeah, it, it's, it's done for him now as well. Yeah, it was, yeah, fallen so fast. Well, am I watching the fight on BT? BT? Yeah, Pat, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Got KO'd by a jab. He, he, he actually did. He actually did. It was a jab. Come on, King. Hope you're good. Love for the love, Big Tech. Shout out from Baltimore. You know what? I'm still vexed I didn't get a chance to go Baltimore last year, you know. I'm a big fan of The Wire. For me, The Wire is the second best show I've ever seen. Um, clean as well. I mean, the top two are clear. Sopranos, number one. The Wire, number two. And The Wire is set in Baltimore. I was looking to hit up a couple of the famous spots from that show. Um, and I say famous, I don't mean famous like that, but um, when you watch the show, you know, there's a few areas and, and blocks and that you, you want to see. And I had all that planned, but it just, we just couldn't make it happen. Um, but I hope you're good, my bro. And soon come, man. Soon. Love for the super chat. Big up you from Burnley, says Cameron. Come on. Come on. Baltimore, Burnley. It's all mad. It's all mad. What's this Gutierrez guy saying? I don't even know if I should put the volume on. You know what? I'll try it in a minute. Let me just quickly sort this. Turkish, you think people disrespect Izzy, call him boring, etc. Let me just stop the camera quickly. And let me just fix this light while I talk to you guys. I know there's going to be a bit of noise in the background, but excuse me for that. But do people disrespect Izzy? Um, I think it's a case of, listen, over the last five years, you, UFC have, have taken on a lot of and I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but casual fans. And if you've seen the last, well, let's say four, five Adesanya fights, is it four or five? Since Costa, it's been a bit, it's been boring, let's say. So to the casuals, people are looking at him and thinking, how's this guy got such a big name? Like, he does all this ring walk stuff, dancing stuff. Um, he talks like he's, you know, one of the goats. He, he he's talked about like he's on the way to being one of the goats. But when people watch him fight, it's not an entertaining fight. Now I put that down to the opposition, his opponent, more than I do him. 
look, I'm talking away. I'm not even doing the light. But yeah, I put it down to them. Izzy's a Izzy's a fighter that needs the opponent to engage. Um, sorry, people. Yeah, he needs his, he needs the opponents to engage. He's a counter striker, in my opinion. He's a counter striker, and if you look at the Romero fight, if you look at the the second Whitaker fight, if you look at what was his last fight? Who was his last fight against? I forgot who his last fight against, but th that one applies as well. If you look at these fights, it's the, the the opponent's not really on engaging, and that ain't Adesanya's fault. Yeah, there we go. The light's back on. If you give me a couple of seconds, I will be back on the screen. But yeah, that's not Adesanya's fault. I'm interested to hear what you guys think as well. I'm no expert on mixed martial arts and the UFC. But that's my opinion. I rate Adesanya highly. And I expect to see an exciting performance from him today, if I'm honest. I really do. I think Pereira is not one to shy away. He'll be engaging. Let me see where we are. Right, cool. We're back. Lights on. Looking good. Cool. Edgar's there. More or less crying. Abdelaziz as well with him. Is that that's not his manager though, is it? Ah, right, cool. Where are we? So yeah, that's my opinion on, on Izzy. He's cleaned out his weight class. He's a PR merchant, defo. He just fights smart, says Tariq. And like I said, if Mike Tyson in the building, come on, come on, in Ganu as well. The big boys are right. What's happening with Nganu anyway? I haven't heard nothing about his current situation and what's going on. Kananir, that's it. That was his last fight. Kananir didn't really engage with him as well. So in my opinion, it he's just picked up the points, victories. You know, um, Dave Jordan says it comes a point where you got to take some blame for it being boring, though. Yeah, as a champion, there is some ownership of that. As a champion, you've got a it's 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 a balance between keeping your belt. And all the riches that come with it, sponsorships, name, brand, all of that. And not losing yourself. And I guess you're right, Dave. He, he has to take some of that ownership. It, it can't be a boring fight tonight. It can't be a boring fight. I think Pereira's going to go for the knockout. Um, because even from his first two fights, if, the first one, it was a good fight. The first one was a good fight. I know Pereira won both of them, but the first one was a good fight. But it could have gone either way. If any, yeah, it could have gone either way. I know a lot of people are saying, you know, Adesanya should have won that. It could have gone either way that one. The second one, however, Adesanya was clean winning that fight until the knockout. So I, I don't expect Pereira to, you know, stand up and 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 try outpoint him. I expect Pereira to. Um, Try and play with him a bit. Try and seek an opening. And, and that's something that I think over the years, Adesanya's honed. It, in, you know, from that knockout as well, you know, it seems that like Adesanya's learned, moulded, and and he's he's a different beast to what Pereira last faced, in my opinion. We'll get into it. Obviously, it's Poirier Chandler next. So, you know, there's still a long way to go. There's still two fights before the main event. So we'll save a lot of that conversation for just before the main event. But I'm going to go with Adesanya tonight. Um, that's my opinion. So did I end this, Dave Jordan? Can't be the opponent's fault opponent's in every fight. Hope he gets slept. He can dance back to the locker room. <laughs> I don't even mind either way. Have I listened to King's Disease Free yet? Nah, I've listened to the tune Beef, though. But um, aside from that, I haven't had a chance to really listen to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get that done soon enough. Um, Chris, I didn't do a fan cam today. Obviously, I was doing the interview in, and yeah, I was on the match day live talking about the whole game throughout. Forever Arsenal, I'll probably do that tomorrow, latest Monday, so I'll get a chance to discuss the game more there. And obviously, Big Six on this channel Monday night. It's another good weekend. It's another. It's a great weekend, in fact. It's not often City lose, and yeah, it's not often City lose, and it actually has an effect on what we're doing. So long may that continue. Maury says he's got a kind of similar style to the Bisping Romero, like a snake waiting to to snack and attack. 
he seems to prefer the counter strike yeah he does adesanya in my opinion is all about you know the counter strike is he went a couple levels from their last account it says pat he has gone up a couple levels at least from their last and you know you learn from your losses and and adesanya's done that mission says adesanya win by points inganu or john jones honestly honestly i think inganu Ngannou finishes John, John, John Jones. And, and this is coming from someone who... Listen, John Jones is, is one of the best ever. 100%. 100%. Obviously, the the issues with the drugs and all of that, that kind of taints his, his record overall or his name overall, however you look at it. But if he comes up against Ngannou, I can't lie. I think what Ngannou showed against um, Cyril Gunn um, in his last fight is he, he can fight smart. He, he was he, he was weary of of Garn's technical ability, you know, his, his punches, his angles and all of that. So what did he do? He just wrestled him for the majority of the fight, something that's unusual for Nganu, and he got the win. He got the win in, in comfy fashion as well. I think he could get the win any which way against John Jones. I think if he goes in aggressive, he can knock him out. And if he goes in in a similar way, he went in, in with Gan because, listen, John Jones is very technical as well. But has he got that knockout power for someone like Nganu? It's, it's hard to really justify saying something like that. So, yeah, out of them two, it'd be a massive risk. Hence why I think John Jones hasn't stepped up yet. I think Stipe is another story altogether. You know, Stipe and, and John Jones, I think John Jones um, probably wins that. Well, not probably. I think John Jones does win that. But Nganu is a bit... Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult one. Someone said a big statement, or Jerry said a big statement. Racker says, bro, do you ever sleep? I don't sleep much, you know. I don't sleep much. I, I, I go sleep late. I wake up early, keep it moving. You know, it is what it is. Shit, I got my snacks here as well. So if I, if I mute the stream, let me turn some volume up. You lot got to let me know if it's interfering. But I need to hear, I need to hear something. I need to hear something. Poirier is talking right now, so I don't need to hear much of that. But let me hear some commentary in the background once the fight starts. Um, UFC UFC almost automatically made the, Vol the Volkanovski-Islam fight. And in the meantime, Spence versus Crawford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, UFC rolling, rolling the big fight. They keep on rolling. You know, what was the last big card? It was the Islam card, Islam Oliveira. That was a, that was a big card as well. Here tonight, we have another big card. Um, is there another big card this year? I can't remember. I'm sure there's one more card that I looked at and I said, yeah, February now, you have the Volkanovski Islam one. I think it's February the 12th, if I'm not mistaken. They just keep on churning them out. They just keep on churning them out. Yeah, Stipe, listen, Stipe can definitely count and wrestle. He can wrestle better than Ganyu, full stop. But... Actually, Stipe is a smart fighter as, as well. He hasn't got the power that Nganu has. That that that's the difference for me. That's the difference. Nganu can just lie on John Jones for five rounds and win it. What's his name? When Adesanya went went up and fought Blackowitz, or whatever his name is, however you say it. That's that's essentially what happened. He got smothered throughout the fight. He got smothered and it was an easy win. I know Adesanya flirted with the idea of going back, going back up a weight. I think Dave Jordan said it earlier. The middleweight and the lightweight divisions, there's there's problems there for Dana. There's problems there because they've been cleaned up and, and there's no one in on the horizon. You know, if Adesanya disposes of Pereira tonight, that's it. What, what's actually left? What next? Sorry, i got my cup of tea here as well before it gets cold. Let me sip it. Yeah, it's getting cold already. It's peak. That is what it is. Um, Polish power. Come on, Jan. Yeah. Kamza Izzy would be a... Yeah, it's going to have to be fights like this, but the UFC have had a good run. They've had a good, good run, but it's coming to a point now where it needs a bit more you know the lightweight and middleweight division shouldn't be spoken about in this manner like they've said it's it's done and i and i pretty much agree 
there should be more competition. There should be a bigger, wider pool of talent. But don't get me wrong, this ain't no criticism of the UFC because Dana's done an amazing job um, with what he's built there so far, obviously with the help of others. Got Chandler coming out already, hype, hype as usual. <laughs> this Chandler guy. Tonight's a big one for him because if he loses this one, then maybe he fights McGregor. Maybe God knows what's happening with McGregor. And I, and I was a big McGregor fan, but yeah, that might be next for him if McGregor even wants wants to come back. <laughs> Cam's at his big competition. Is he six foot four? He ain't small. He isn't small. GSP, come on, Hori. GSP style, keep fighting the division and clear it two, three times. Izzy ain't young, so maybe he could clear divi the division twice, but could still earn gold status. If, well, well, what does gold status mean? As in one of the greatest of all times, I guess that's what you mean. Because they're really and truly in every sport or every field or whatever, there's one goal. There's a greatest of all time and then there's everyone else. And some are closer to to that great than others, but more recent. Well, I say more recently, modern day goat is used a lot. So I guess one of the greatest of all time, potentially. Yeah, it all comes down to opinions, styles. Listen, a lot of people put Khabib as the greatest of all time. A lot of people lean on his, you know, um, unbeaten record. For me, he doesn't even come close to the greatest of all time, in my honest opinion. You know, GSP is higher than him. John Jones is higher than him. Anderson Silva. I don't know why Anderson Silva did that last fight against Jake Paul. I hate that one of UFC's greatest greatest ever legends went out like that. Um, it is it is sad because I just want someone to knock Jake's head off. But, you know, he's picking his fights wisely and, you know, we'll see what happens there. But... I don't put Khabib near the greatest of all time. Look, Khabib, a lot of people are saying Khabib. I, it's, a lot of people do say Khabib. A lot of people do say Khabib, but... You look at Khabib's resume, maybe five fights that stand out. And by stand out, I mean the names rather than the fight itself because the fights Khabib's in... The... <laughs> The fights Khabib's in, they're not, and they're not wrestling is not as entertaining to me as striking, you know. Um, hence why I, I actually wanted I wanted McGregor to beat Khabib because I prefer striking, I prefer the entertainment. And to be honest with you, McGregor as a character in the UFC, it, it was great viewing. I know he went off the rails and post Khabib, especially that second, the third Poirier fight when he's forcing the the jokes and he's talking about his wife and all of that it, it was it was very cringe very cringe um but you could tell his ego was dented after the Khabib fight but in general I prefer striking you know so maybe that's my bias Khabib is definitely a great but not the greatest for me GSP or John Jones a lot of people to meet yeah Dem yeah Demetrius as well that's a good shout that's a good shout could be bottled the GSP fight at 170. Can never be a goat, says Dave Jordan. Yeah, could be didn't he didn't test himself as much as I would have liked, as much as I'd expect someone that's classified as a goat to have been tested. So yeah, not for me. Not for me. Funnily enough, listen, Khabib is the better fighter. But I put McGregor higher in the list because he entertained me a lot more. And it's not only just entertainment. He he was just running through a division. And I know he was probably too big for that division to, to, to begin with. But the way he ran through it and then the way he knocked Aldo out in the first, what, 13 seconds, that was history. History was made. Double champ and all of that. So, even, you know, even though Khabib beat McGregor, for me personally... McGregor's higher on my all-time list. Yeah, people might laugh at that and all of that. I get it. I understand. But fighting and character and I say legacy, but Khabib's legacy is a, is a top, top legacy as well.
top, top legacy. Connor's fights versus Nate, TZ, come on. You know, like AJ, am I a Nate fan? Of course I am. Nate's one of those guys. You you, you can't not be a Nate fan if, if you're a fight lover. That guy's always in for the scrap. Always. Always. And I think he's flirting with the Jake Paul stuff as well, isn't it? I don't think Nate Diaz is one to, to, to be bought in a sense where take a dive, let's say. So if he was to take that fight, I really hope, I really hope Nate can do it. I love Nate. I can't even lie. His press conferences with McGregor are some of the best ever. That um, press conference where they are throwing monster energy drinks at each other. Classic. Classic. And I know that's not fighting. That's the the satellite stuff around the fighting. But that makes the fighting too, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's not as much about, but a, a lot of it is about the press conferences, the, you know, the back and forth, how serious it is and how personal it gets and the mental warfare. McGregor, in terms of mental warfare, probably the best ever, if not top two, top three, maybe people, people might say Chell, maybe, but the Gucci Mink one, come on. So I used to just watch McGregor's press conference highlights. I used to just watch it and just sit back and chill and have it in the background, take pay attention to it. To, to this day, I haven't watched it in a long time, bear in mind. But to this day, I could watch that and laugh and, and wish that there was someone in the UFC that had as much charisma, confidence, was as good on the mic as McGregor was. Because he really added to the UFC. The fight is about to start people as well. Um, man said McGregor's another cringe and overhyped Jake Paul type. My guy, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about putting McGregor in with Jake Paul. But yeah, the fight has started. So I'm going to be focused on the fight, people. Because this one, it, it could light up at any moment. I'm vexed my tea's cold, though. I can't even lie. But I've got a, I've got a Coke here as well. So I'll sip on that. I'll sip on that. Just weighing up, weighing each other up at the moment. You see, fighting's one of those ones. You can't take your eye off it. I know I see the chat coming in, but you can't you can't take your eye off it. So let me focus and just stop the chat there and let's see. Poirier's going for them leg kicks. Them leg kicks finished McGregor in that second fight. Absolutely finished him. Oh. Oh, for real, that left hook. Chandler's like, I, don't get me wrong, I like it, I like it because it, it, it's entertaining, but he's just wild. He's tried three kicks in a row. And then when he wins a fight, four or five backflips and Trust me, I just heard call me and say it feels like at any moment it can go off. Can you not hear it in the background? Because I don't want no copyright strikes and all of this stuff. Let me know if it's too loud in the background before Dana White tries to take down my channel or something. Joe Linton says, for the tea, my guy, a full cup of tea. And it's cold. It's, it's all mad. I'm going to have to take a break after the Esparza fight and um, make another tea before the main event. Poirier's weighing him up. Ooh, Poirier's weighing him up. Chandler's the, the aggressor so far. Coming up to a couple minutes. Gone. Ooh. Ooh. Poirier, Poirier ain't looking. Oof. Poirier's. This is what I mean about where is he mentally. Because, you know, he's had a couple shots at the title recently. He's, he's coming back now, though. He's had a couple shots at the title recently. And you know when those shots come and go. It's hard to lift yourself up again. He's got that deal with the chili sauce. You know, he had the two McGregor fights. He made a bag of money from them. Is his heart as in it as someone like Chandler? That's what happened to McGregor. His heart just, you know, he made so much. And I get it. When you're a fighter, if you're fighting for everything, someone that's got everything and is in your way, you know, that's that motivation different. You know, that motivation is different. It's it was an interesting start. I say Chandler's up in this round so far. Still two minutes to go. Poirier is starting to come out of his shell a little bit. I think he was trying to... Oh. 
Oof, oof, oof. I don't know if that they collided heads and it seemed like Poirier was oof. Listen, Poirier is getting smacked up. But Chan, like, but Poirier's chin is he, he he's standing up to it. He's got taken down now, but he, he stood up to them shots. He blocked a couple of them, but they were some hard shots. I think that that head collision must have took it out of him a bit because he just don't seem as as agile as he as he usually is, Poirier. And by that I mean with his boxing. Because Poirier's a very good boxer. Oh, Poirier's putting himself in a Alright, cool. <laughs> the troops told us said back again. It's been a little while I ain't seen you about. Dave Jordan says China's built like Geo Dude. He actually is. <laughs> he actually is. Oof. This guy. He got China suplex Poirier. Like Kurt Angle. That reminded me of WWF days. What is he doing? Now you see, this is what I mean by China. So he's wild. The guy just turns his back and takes a step. Look, China's tired. Oof. How are you so tired already? How? Look, Chandler's, look at him. Yeah, Poirier. Poirier's got this now. Look at this. Look at this. Chandler, he loves this. Doesn't he know, bro? This is... <laughs> this, this ain't a forgiving sport, mate. Stop. Yeah. Oh, he's, he, he's, st he's sticking in there, but he's just moving wild. He's... He, Ah, oh, the, the bell's gone. Right, Poirier's on it. This has got a bit personal between them, the way Poirier's moving. Mad. Mad, where are we? Charlo with the concrete head gassed already. Yeah, like, what's wrong with this guy? Why is he so gassed already? I thought McGregor was bad. <laughs> Charlo's moving mad. Blue is lowered early. Yeah, you could say that. You could say that. What a round. Chandler just he's an entertainer, isn't it? He's an entertainer, but like I said, this sport is not is it's not a forgiving sport. So you know, one day you're entertaining, the next day you're looking for a new job, mate. So he needs to he needs to rack up some wins. He can't be in entertaining fights and losing them more. So oof. Just looking at the highlights from the first round. He got probably with a good few. All in all, I say Chandler's got that round. Then again. Poirier, no, I need to see that Poirier knocked down. Was it a clean strike that knocked him down or was it more Chandler gassed out and he fell? Probably a draw that round then. Oof. Yeah, it was a clean strike. I say draw, but he's, he, he's got a knockdown. So Poirier might have even edged that one in the last couple of minutes there. I'll say draw. I'll say draw in that first round for me. Second round's off. Nutty guy, says AJ. He is. That's what I'm saying. But he's fighting top, 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 top fighters in the UFC. I'm not saying he wasn't before, but entertainment's one thing. Your record's another. So, it's just bus open so much already. I mean, he was he was literally laying into Poirier for the first two minutes. Poirier hasn't really got a Mark on him, taking him down again, though. True, he had the takedown in the first round as well. So I'll definitely go over draw for that first round. Let's see what happens in this one. What's your thoughts on the first round, people? Who had it? Chandler, Poirier at the end, draw, one knockdown for Poirier, a takedown for Chandler, and I think more significant strike. Not that I've seen the stats on the, on the screen, but off the top of my head. Ridda says Chandler won the first round. Chandler's bleeding a hell of a lot. Draw for me, says Sky. Hey, Chase says draw as well. Chandler has a smashed nose. Going to be tough to last breathing out of the mouth. He is bloodied. He is leaking. Poirier is trying to... Ooh, Poirier. 
trying to trying to get get his back. Poirier is wiping Chandler's blood out of his own eyes. That's how much Chandler's leaking. I think it's his. I think it's Chandler's blood because like, Poirier is not opened up. So Poirier, Chandler's trying to get under his neck. Still three minutes to go in this round. Chandler's playing it a bit dirty. Hand over the face. I can't lie. After Chandler done this in the first round, though, that's when he gassed out. So. Uh, he needs to reserve some of this energy, get him into a good position and either lie down, get your energy back or get up and, and fight it out. He's not under the neck. Doesn't look like he is anyway. But he does. he's on the chin. He's on the chin. Chandler's takedowns have been class, yeah, so far. Dave says Poirier is going to retire if he loses. That's my bold prediction. So, Dave, you kind of get the same feeling I'm getting from him that he's kind of, it's as hard as in it anymore as as much as it used to be. <laughs> Chandler just knocking on his forehead. <laughs> How can you not like UFC, man? Definitely better than boxing. Definitely better than boxing. No messing about. <laughs> I see a super chat there as well. Don't worry. The next break. The next break in play. Oof. Chandler's got him in a good position here, though. He needs to start. Why is this guy so tired? Why is this guy so tired? Then again, he done what he needed to do, I guess, in this round. He, he's won it simply by ground time. What's going on here? The guy just hitting him bare times in the back of his head. The referee's right there talking to him. Oof. Yeah, probably needed to get out or do something there. But now Chana's on top of him. Chana's got this round. I think Poirier will see it out. 30 seconds left, but Chana's up. But you have to think. What position? Oof, what position is he in going into the third round? Because that first round, the way he gassed out so quick, this one he's been using a lot of energy to keep Poirier down. Poirier ain't made it light for him. Then again, what's Poirier's situation like in the third round? I Where's that super chat? I'm trying to watch the fight, but a certain someone, I'm not going to say who, but he likes to say again and supports Arsenal and decides his little... <laughs> I love the big six show. Man said, shoo. Listen, my guy, love for the love, man. Love for the love. Um, The big six show, the way that's... Listen, two years. It's two years this month. I think next week is two years we've been doing the show. And next week... um. Big six extra starts as well. So, yeah, little milestone there. Zoe says, boring. Boxing is boring. Snooze fest. Majority of the time recently, I'd, I'd agree with you. You know, the Wilder Fury fight banging. What other fights in, in, in boxing? Well, mainly the heavyweight division. That's probably the best fight that you know the 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 wilder fury trilogy is probably the best free fights entertainment wise shock factor wise for years maybe since glitch called aj maybe third rounds kicked off here as well
like I said, two years ago, moved in on my one, so been there from the start. Come on, it's, it's mad. The way it's grown is mad from like 5k, 10k views to 30, 40, 50k views last year to 60, 80, 100k views this year. It's mad. It's mad. Um, hopefully, we continue bringing you guys what you what you want, you know, because it's 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 worked so far. Night. You, uh, okay, so there's one that's putting Chandler up. A lot of the tweets come in and are saying it's, it's draw right now. Poirier first round, Chandler second round. Something needs to happen in this round though, because that second round was mm, Chandler's trying to. Oh sh. Oh. Chandler's wild, man. Look, look what look at the position he's put himself in for fuck's sake. Look, he's wild, man. Look, he's gonna get Yeah, Chandler ain't got energy for this. Looking up at the clock. Three minutes thirty seconds, mate. Oof, he's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Yep, he's got him. Submitted. <laughs> I didn't expect it to end like that, but Poirier's done it. Poirier's done it. Chandler needs to, he needs to alight now, man. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe a McGregor fight, McGregor wants it, but McGregor does what he wants. So aside from that, Chandler, I don't know what's, ne what, what, what's next for my man. Poirier actually came out of that one. Because it it looked sticky for him, especially in that first round, in the first few minutes. Um, by submission, surprising, yes. But the winner, surprising, no. Poirier is the better fighter. Chandler just here, tired, bust nose. Chandler's a top fighter as well. It's just, he needs a bit more, I don't know what it is. A bit more composure in these big fights. Look at this. It, it, that all started from him picking Poirier up. And then he ends up on his back, getting smashed in his face. And then Poirier ends up on his back. And that's it. It's all done. It's all done. The fingers on, on their feet, aside from the end of that first round, Poirier was losing. Chandler had the best of him on their feet. Like I said, aside from that last, well, I say last, but aside from that moment in the first round where Poirier could have really knocked him out, Chandler. Broderick says no fight management from Chandler. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Um, the diamond always has good ground game. Yeah, listen, Poirier is all round fighter. He, you know. He, Zoe says he needs to relax, headhunt in all the time. And Usman said he's too much of an entertainer. He is. He is. Who does he remind me of? Not as much. It's different. But Masvidal's kind of, the, you know, he kind of had similar traits where entertaining fighter, yes, but over. What's Poirier moaning about? I don't get it. Poirier is saying something to Chandler. I don't know what he's saying, but if you don't know in the chat, let me know. Obviously, I haven't got the volume too loud, so I don't really know what he's saying, but well done, Poirier. Submission, third round. He keeps moving. Someone said it earlier, they doubt that the winner of this gets a title fight. Bit of respect there between the two. Sorry, people. Let me just hear what he has to say. Let 
Oh, okay. He said Chandler's fingers were in his mouth, pulling his um, head back to try and get the choke. You could see that Chandler was a bit of dark arts, you know. You see dark arts in football, let alone in the fight business. So, but that is pretty low. I can't even lie, man. Grabbing your, imagine someone grabbing your, the top of your mouth and trying to pull your head back. Fuck it now. But yeah, that's it. Poirier, third round. Rear naked choke. Couple of minutes to go. And there you have it. <coughs> I can't lie. In terms of entertainment, the first round entertaining. Second round not so much. Third round decent overall. I think it has nothing on the Gaethje Chandler fight. I think the Gaethje Chandler fight was the last time they was they was over here. I believe. Or was it the last time Chandler's been here? Either way, um, in terms of entertaining spectacles, yeah, it, it comes some way short of that. It was still entertaining. I actually expect Adesanya Pereira to be better than that. I know a lot of people have doubts about that fight, but I think Adesanya knows he's got a bit to prove. Pereira knows he needs to knock him out. Surely that that results in, a, in an entertaining fight. As Dave said, apparently he was fingering his mouth. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Um, Turkish, what do you think of Volkanovski's chances of beating Makashev are? Slim. Slim. Um, like I said before, wrestling is the most efficient martial art. Um, I'm no expert, but from what I've seen over the years, that specific style nullifies pretty much any opposition any style um so for me makashev kind of gets the job done against volkanovsky sugar says i don't know why he tried to slam him he tried to do the same to gaichi and got reversed too charn up bottled it. it's all about this entertaining thing he wants to pick the man up high dash him down loud cheer scramble on top of him scuff try and choke he's it, it, just too wild with it he's just too wild who do you think wins in the hype women's event tonight also do a poll for the women's event get the algo working for you let me actually get a poll going you're not actually you're not actually wrong there gaichi dustin too would be crazy says blue that's that's not a bad shout gaichi dustin too i don't see dustin getting a title shot anytime soon so that's not a bad shout. That's not a bad shout. Let's, to be honest, I should have put a poll in for that fight as well. But Halle Berry in the building. Kevin Holland in the building. Where are we? Engage. Start a poll. Here we are. All right, cool. Esparza versus Zhang. Esparza. Dang. All right, cool. We put that in the chat. I'll do the same once the Adesan well, once this fight's done. Where's UFC four out? Yeah, it is out. They said now. All right, I need to grab that game, you know. Osman says, big up unrelated, I know, but what's your top three UK albums? Tef. Young's Tef Grown Manting. J Huss. Big Conspiracy. Um, and Nines. <sighs> Actually, Potter Papers. Potter Papers. Was it the last thing he'd done or the first thing he'd done when he last came out of jail? Was it Training Day 2 or Training Day 3? One of them. I know it's not an album, it's a mixtape. But yeah, something like that. Something like that. That would be my UK albums. It's hard to put them in three, but Tef, Grown Man Ting and Tef, Call of Duty. Um, those two are, are, are classics for me from, from early, from uni times. And I mean, what's it? How, how long ago was uni now? 14 years ago. From uni times, I was banging them out. Maybe says surprise Turkish knows his MMA. 
I, I'm no expert. I watch it. I watch it. You know, Tariq says J Hus UK goat for me. Riddler says lady fights are paint. Not you know what? There's, they, it's not only some of the women fights that are painful. This and a lot of the men's fights are painful to watch sometimes as well because sometimes the styles don't match up well. But like I said, with Zhang and, and Joanna a few years ago, one of the best fights I've seen, full stop, men, women. It's a fight that I've watched I've watched again and I, and I could watch again and I will watch again. It's one of those fights. So I'm hoping Zhang pulls one off today. I am hoping. But we'll see. We'll see. Will Esparza be able to avoid the knockout? If she does, I assume she'll actually... Actually, I don't know, you know. Let me see what the poll's saying. Who have we got who have we got up so far? Zhang's up. 80 votes in. And Zhang's up at the moment, 72%. So a lot of you lot are going with Zhang. There's 270 in the building. Vote if you haven't. Hit the like button if you haven't. We've got 195 likes. So nearly matching up to the amount of people on the live stream. Um, yeah. She really did. Dave, even reminding me of that fight after to switch this TV off. That fight, I, I, what was she doing? And then she thought she won at the end. She she thought she won at the end. Uh, that was one of the maddest things I've seen in the UFC. Because I was looking at her like, what are you doing this whole fight? And then at the end, she lifted her arms up. And then when she, you know, when she lost, she's like, what? I'm thinking, what do you mean, what? Go and ask your team what, because I don't understand how they're telling you that you're you're winning the fight. Jay Huss, second Daily Duppy is some spiritual music, for real. Yeah, Daily Duppy is probably the best one as well, come to think of it. Dylan says, love from New York. Heard you guys are going to be on Fox 5 out here. That is huge, my guy. That's one of the most watched morning shows in the country here. That is mad, Dylan. I know it's big. Big up Dan over at um, Fox New York. Um, big up the vice president as well. Apparently, the vice president of Fox News watches us. Um, he asked for my email, and to be honest, I don't think I got the email. I don't think I got the email, you know, because he asked for my email. Let me check my spam. Let me check my spam. It's mad though. Imagine vice president of Fox News watches. Which is the big six? That is that is mad. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I've got an email. Maybe I was lied to, but what's the date? Thirteenth of November. No, we do. There we are. Shit, second of November. Eleven days ago. It's in my spam. I need to email him back. Vice President of News. Mad. Mad. Yeah, sorry. I just went off on my own thing there. But yeah, we pre-recorded something for the World Cup um, with Dan, the presenter. And he said it's going to be at sometime between the Premier League ending and the World Cup starting. So I'm assuming it's this week. I haven't seen it yet, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> Plot twist. He's a Spurs fan. I don't care who he supports. Uh, you know, he's supporting the big six show. So that's enough for me. And if he's a Spurs fan, then, you know, why would we care? Commiserations. Commiserations. Um, Esparza to win, says Clint. Budgie Man says, did you sleep at all since the game earlier? No, I haven't slept. I don't sleep much. Obviously, I'm going to sleep after this. It's, it's, well, it's quarter to five in the morning. How many fights are left? Two. This fight and then Adesanya call. I'll be, I'll be going to sleep at six. I got to take my son swimming at eleven. Um, probably take him soft play after that. Then I'll take him to my nan's. Then I'm gonna take him to my friend who just had a child two weeks ago. So yeah, I've got a jam packed day tomorrow as well. No stopping. But we move. We move. Um, did you see the fight Islam against Oliveira? I did. And it went exactly the way I thought it would go. Come on, Clint. Hope you're well. Um, 
Moaz as well. Moaz Hassan, big up you. Kabera said, what Turkish you watch UFC? Come on. Of course I watch UFC. HH's dedication. And said, you're checking your spam. Yeah, it's emails. What are you talking about? What does, what does that mean now? I don't know what things mean in this modern day anymore. Spam to me is emails. Or that fucking... In, in uni, a couple of my housemates in uni, yeah, they'd cook spam in the morning. And I, I used to live on the third floor. My room was the third floor, like, you know, the loft conversion. I used to, the smell used to wake me up. And that was 14 years ago. I'm still vexed about it today, but yeah, that's the only spam I know. Baba Tunde, are you blessed, my guy? One more of those and you're out of here, man. How many times are you going to talk shit in the comment section? Um, Bori said someone needs to find the kryptonite for the Dagestani wrestling. I don't think it's happening. I don't think it's happening. Zhang's getting ready to walk out. She looks quite serious, you know. She's She looks very serious. Usually she's got a little smile. She's, you know, a bit vibesy. She looks very serious. Cabrera, Chandler definitely fights recklessly. He's wild. It's entertaining for us, but for him, yeah, it doesn't go it doesn't go well. What's that now? Two three in in UFC. Yeah, that shit that comes in a tin. AJ, they used to. Fight. How can a smell wake man up? Then you open the fridge and it's just there. It's banged on a plate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's about to fight. Of course she's serious. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know, man. Usually she's a bit more, like I said, vibesy. She's very stiff right now, which which is probably a good thing. She needs to focus because if she loses this one, then it doesn't matter how good that fight was with Joanna a few years ago. She didn't get over the line. But she's got a big chance today. She's got a big chance. I rate Rose, you know, but I was surprised that how, how Zhang went out to Rose. Not necessarily the first one, a knockout like that can happen, ask Kamara Usman, but in the second one, I don't think she'd done herself any favours, if I'm honest. Um, it was a weak attempt. Where do I rank Dustin? In in what? In his division? He's top five in his division, for sure. Top three, for sure. But I say for sure, I think you're looking at Islam... Oliveira. Does he touch third? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe he fights Dariush next. Maybe. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Oliveira's always dropped in every fight. Was never going to last long as a champ. Yeah. Again, Oliveira's an entertaining fighter because he just leaves it all on the line. Um, I wouldn't say he's wild. He's a lot more measured than Chandler for sure. Um, but he's, he's been, you know, knocked a few times where the fight could have gone a completely different way, but he's pulled it out. But once you come up against someone that can not only knock you down, but also follow it up, that's where shit gets, it got very messy for, for Charles. I mean, in the other fights, he might get knocked down, but no one's looking to follow up because everyone's weary about his ground game and his wrestling and, and whatnot. Makashev didn't give a shit. Knock down, on top of you, finish you off. Finish you off. Josh said, Turkish, have you heard that Alex Pereira already weighs 210? He's gained 25 on the weight limit already. I haven't heard that, but I know it took him a little while to get his weight checked in at the weigh-in. I think he... he I think he made it with five minutes to go. Neo says, nah, Turkish Islam, Oliveira, Dariush, Gamrot, 
Sarukian Pori is now a top. Mm. Like I said, maybe a Poirier Dariush next, maybe. But then I guess it's an Oliveira Dariush. And then when Islam fights Volkanovsky, he might come back to fight the winner. I say come back. Volkanovsky is the one that's stepping up. So yeah, Islam. Volkanovsky is stepping up, right? So Volkanovsky is going for double champ. It's not Makashev. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Um Gamrot, another interesting proposition. But yeah, we'll see. Pete says top five current strikers, Adesanya, Pereira, Garne, Volkanovsky, O'Malley. Yeah. Adesanya Pereira. Give me some thought with that. Let, let me have a let me have a think about that. Turkish big up your damn self says unknown love for that my guy. <laughs> Pereira a knockout round two says active gunner. Yeah, Vu Chan, I've not seen Darius fight in ages, and I, that probably that probably builds it, hit him up even more. The fact that we haven't seen him fight and the last couple of times, which was quite a while ago, he came out with flying colours and he was due a, he was due a shot actually who was who was he meant to fight and then he pulled out with injury it wasn't a title shot was it islam he was meant to fight islam and then he pulled out through injury yeah that was some sometime in the last six months or something <laughs> let me see volkanovsky's going for the, yeah that's it yeah he, he's the one that's going for double champ volkanovsky and what am I thinking for the main event? I'm thinking Adesanya. Is that me going with who I want more than going with the more likely outcome? I just think you get the best Adesanya against a confident fighter. And there's no one more confident than Pereira going in against Adesanya, having beaten him twice, having knocked him out cold. Um I look at Costa Adesanya. I look at Whitaker Adesanya one, and they they engaged. They was on it. They was they was going for his head. They was trying to get him out of there, and due to that, Adesanya got them out of there. Um, that's what I expect today with Pereira as well. I think Pereira will try get him out of there. But listen, it's the fight game. You know, Adesanya can be winning every round, and then Pereira knocks him out. It can happen again. Ask Adesanya because it's happened to him against Pereira before. Ask Usman because it happened to him against Edwards. This is the beauty of this sport. You could be losing for four and a half minutes and then win the fight. So as much as I lean towards Adesanya because I expect Pereira to come out and engage and go for it, don't get it twisted. One strike is all it takes. 25 minutes to get that strike. Adesanya hasn't got that one punch knockout power. I know that. He 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 tends to wear the fighter down with a flurry more so than a one two. So yeah, I'm leaning towards Adesanya, but we'll see. We'll see. Knuckles says Adesanya will stay at a distance scoring points, trying to gas Pereira out. I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't because that will damage his legacy a bit his, his legacy is not in question but his most recent facts have led to people thinking that he's just doing the bare minimum to get out of it scot-free with the belt and keep his sponsorships and all that intact his, his money his bag and I, and I get that but at the same time you know how much do you care about what you do you know How much? Do, sorry. How much do you care about what you do? How much do you want to be remembered as a great? How much do you want your legacy to be up there with the very best? Is it all about money? If it is calm, I'm not even saying that's a big problem. I get it. I actually get it. But the goats in any sport care about the sport you know, care about the quality and, and their imprint. So I hope Adesanya doesn't go for that. 
cheat points victory. And to be honest with you, if he did, I think that would probably be... That would probably be the wrong move. Then again, it all comes down to Pereira engaging. Listen, Adesanya is the champion. Pereira knows that if he doesn't, you know, engage, if he doesn't go on the front foot, then he's most likely going to lose the fight on points. So he has to do something. So even if Adesanya does sit back and wait for Pereira, number one, that's risky. But number two, that also works into Adesanya's hand, counter-striking, the angles he uses, um, his movement. So this fight's kicked off as well. I'll keep an eye out on this one as well. Turkish, since you're involved with YouTube, do you watch any YouTubers? Izzy's got a decent channel as well. Not really, you know. Not really. I can't lie. I, I don't really... In my spare time, I watch shows, like whether it be Netflix or Amazon Prime. I watched Jungle recently. Um, that's like a six-episode six show on Amazon Prime. I need to start House of Dragon. I think I'm going to do that next. But I don't really watch YouTubers, I'll be honest. Um, obviously, the man them. I'll tune in, I'll, I'll, I'll engage live chat and whatnot. But in general, I don't really, I don't really watch YouTube aside from highlights of, of the football. Roderick says, no, Adesanya doesn't need to be reckless. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He always fights safe, says Tariq. And so does HH. Usman says, is jungle worth watching? Yeah, it's worth watching. It's it's not great. It's not shit. It, it it's above it's above average for what it is. I think the twist. Let me not say too much. Let me not say too much. There's a twist in there, but it's forced, in my opinion. That's not saying too much. Aside from that, I think it it was well produced. It's a weird one. It's 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 set in the UK. The buildings look like they're in the future. The cars are from the past. It's, it's yeah, but it works. It works for what it is. Um, so yeah, Amazon Prime Jungle. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Especially if you're from the UK as well. There's a lot of UK rappers in there. K Coke, um, Score BZ, M24, RA, big roles as well. So it's worth a watch if you like that sort of thing. House of Dragon is wavy. And I said it's decent. Expect the second season to be much better. Where are we? Oof. Hey, Zhang. She hasn't really got her back, though, just at the side there. So it's a bit of a weird angle. Oof, them, oof, them elbows. The spars has reversed it, though. Oof. Yes. Whaley reverse again. It's not under the chin, though, but... Yeah, she's, she's trying to get the back. The spars is on top now, but... Whaley's got her locked up. See, this fight, I'm telling you, when Zhang fights, more often than not, it's not a boring fight. <laughs> oh, Sparza tried it when the, while Zhang was getting up. Sparza looks a bit worried. A lot of going for the takedown, just looking messy. But there's less than a minute left of the round, so she'll have time to regroup. Wait, you classed that? I wouldn't class that as a takedown. She got her down on her knee, and that was it. Now Zhang's on top. Um, 
where are we? This bar's had good resting, not going to lie. Yeah, it's just... That's what I'm saying. I would have expected her to do better in that situation. She looked a bit worried about, about Zhang there. Coming up to 10 seconds to go. They're still scuffing on the ground. A bit messy, but... Yep, there you go. Let me see what the poll's saying. Let me end it as well. 70, 70, well, 69. Was it? Let me see. One sec. Let me get the results. It's a 68% Zhang, 31% Esparza. So I don't know where the other 1%'s gone, but yeah. That's what it says. So most of you are going with Zhang. Dave says just too explosive. Carla could control Rose, but no chance with Zhang. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, Usman says Usman thinks she's on steroids. Yeah, Josh, and I know Pereira after their second fight went on to be pound for pound number one in kickboxing. Yeah, I know. I know. Listen, Pereira could be Adesanya's toughest test in the UFC so far. Could be. Listen, I know we had a scrap with Gasolem. Um, that first Whitaker fight. But Pereira, even Adesanya said it, this is the one he's got a, he's got a performing. Knuckle says, I can't lie, I don't like Israel's ego. The kid's talented, he knows his class, but he's not as good as he thinks he is. And he does get touched. Well, I think that's I think that's why Dave would like to see him lose this one, if I'm honest. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, Dave, but... Main event waiting room says Patrick. If Zhang doesn't, they're going for it again. I'm surprised this has been on the. F well, I'm surprised it's been on the floor as much as it ha has. Oh, she's under the neck, but she hasn't got. It. Yeah, she. Has, it's, it's not tight. The other arms. Look, Spaz is in trouble, but. She just needs to control that arm. Ah, oh, she's got it. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Zhang. Well deserved, man. Nah, nah, let me. Come on. Come on. We'll probably see this fight replayed again anyway. We'll probably see it in a few months. Because a lot of these divisions are they're not they're not stacked like um you you'd like them to be as a fan of the UFC. I guess Rose comes back in with a shout, having beaten Zhang twice in the last year or two. Well done, man, Whaley. Well done. Well done. Well done, Zhang, says Guna. Jack, Active Gunner says she's too smoky. Um, Dave says Zhang was under the chin but could have survived that. Yeah, I think as soon as um, Esparza lost control of Zhang's left arm, that's when it was peak for her. That's when Zhang just locked it in. All it takes is a split second. So as soon as it was locked in, she didn't really give it much. You see here, she's got control of... Well, I say here, I'm watching the replay of it. She's got control of Zhang's left hand, not allowing her to get get it locked in. And she look, Esparza looks calm. And then, yeah, Esparza lets go and then that's it, locked up. And literally two seconds later, tapping out. Look at her face, she's just vexed. She's Vex. Um, Turkish, there's some commentator who's been asking Keiko questions for the time. Just answer who, who, who? Who's been asking about Keiko? Where? Um, oh, Robbie, do you rate Keiko as a UK legend, Turkish? Um, yeah, I do. I do. Again, if I go back to my uni times, and this is 12 to 14 years ago, Keiko was one of the top, top, UK rappers up and coming. Um, he was signed to Rock Nation them times, and then he, uh, unfortunately, I think he got locked up. I don't even know what he got locked up for just before his album was due to come out. And to be honest, he never came back from that. So, in terms of UK rap legend, yes, hundred percent. 
um, what pure cult, pure cult one and two, they're up there, you know. And you know, if we're talking top top UK mixtapes, classics, and all that, they're definitely up there. Um, are you home, fam? In terms of a disc record, is has there been a better one? It's definitely up there if there has. So yeah, all in all, I'd say Colk is a UK rap legend for sure. Um, <laughs> that said, this part is a pum though. Rose's blood on her hands are making her champ. It is a weird one though, isn't it? That's why I just don't get it. the way Rose kind of fought against Zhang, and then, the, the, like Dave said, I just I don't know what she was on in that last fight. I can't even lie. Knuckles, Pure Cut Volume 1 and 2 was fire. It was. It was. Who have I got for the main card? All right, let me add the poll in the chat. Let's see what the chat are saying. And 244 likes as well. 280 in the building. So close enough. Close enough. If we can get it to 280, let's get it to 280. If you're watching this after, hit the like button. Um, what's this? Start a QA. I want to start a QA. I just want to ask a fucking question. Um, Adesanya, Pereira. In there at the sun, yeah. Right, the poll is live, people. Get your votes in. The fight is coming up shortly. What's the time? It's five past five, so yeah, they'll get them coming out soon enough. Soon enough. Let me go back to the chat. Where are we? Let me scroll up a little bit. Blue says Rose doesn't deserve another title fight, she needs to earn it. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that, especially after her. Disaster class against Esparza. Maybe she fights Esparza next again um, and work it out. <laughs> Dave said, go brush your teeth before the main event at risk of falling asleep mid-fight when Izzy's in the octagon. <laughs> nah, Dave, I know what you mean. I'm hoping for something different. I'm hoping for... I'm hoping for style bender Adesanya coming in with with the movement and and picking Pereira off and if not then I'm hoping for Pereira to come in and and not necessarily maul him in a Khabib sense but maul him in a in a in another sense by strikes that was a good finish though locked it up real quick Esparza but like you know Esparza is not really the greatest is she so Aiden says, just want a great fight. Where do you rank Izzy in the all-time list, says HH? I haven't thought about Izzy in the all-time list, if I'm honest with you. Mm. There's so much different facets to at play when you're talking about these lists that it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. You know what? Now I'm bringing now. Well, now I've brought UFC to the channel. Um, Fight Club is the name for these videos, whether it's boxing, whether it's UFC Fight Club. I should have made this one Fight Club live, but we move. I'll be doing these types of videos here and there, not only the live watch alongs. Um, I'll be doing videos here and there, maybe previewing an upcoming card or when there's an announcement of a fight, maybe going live about it. It depends how much you, you guys and girls want to see um, this type of content. If you're watching it now, hit the like button. If you're watching it after, hit the like button. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. I know a lot of you are in the live chat now, but the comment section helps too because afterwards I come back, I review the vids. I'll see, you know, the engagement. I'll see how many people are for it, how many people want more, how many people want me to build on it. And, yeah, um, I don't know how I got into that one, but, yeah, sorry. Then I can make a top 10 list, Turkish's personal favorite top 10 UFC fighters or whatever it is top 10 fights and and so on like I said I, I do want to move into UFC and a bit of boxing too when when there's something worth talking about in the boxing there was Gaethje and Joanna there's Volkanovski my TV just moved mad hopefully it just lasts for this main event um <laughs> Jay said maul him in a Benton curse sense. Nah, fuck that guy. Definitely below John Jones, 100%. 100%. 100%. 
Broderick says, all my champs lost this year. Mentally prepared for an Adesanya L. So Usman's definitely one of your champs then. Who else? Who else lost the, lost their belts this year? I can't even remember. Rose, obviously. Yeah, I can't even remember who else. So apologies. Naka says, is he not in an all-time great list yet? Hasn't achieved enough compared to Usman, GSP, Ronda Rousey, John Jones, Conor McGregor. Yeah, already five names there. That's without mentioning Anderson. Well, and yeah, and Anderson Silva, um, Demetrius as well. Someone I feel like I'm missing. You haven't even mentioned Khabib. So the, yeah, yeah, he's he's got he's got a bit more to do. He's got a bit more to do. Gem, my guy, hope you're good, man. I just send your fights boring. Can see it going the distance. Yeah, I can see it. Hope you're good though, Gem. Hope everything's good. Staying out of trouble, my bro. Um, link up soon though. I, I have passed by um, where we used to link up a, a few times, but you haven't been there, so I don't know if you've moved on or if you're not in the area no more. Let me know. Oliveira. Yeah, that's the... Sorry. How can I forget? That's the most recent one. Aldo. Aldo. Yeah. Aldo's another one. 100%. One of the OGs. Obviously, again, a lot of casual fans came in from the McGregor knockout. So a lot of them would dismiss a Jose Aldo. But Aldo's in his prime. Cold. Cold. So, yeah, there's already nine, ten names we've reeled off there that sit pretty comfortably ahead of Adesanya, and that's without much thought into it. Um, but he can. He can enter that list. Listen, see off Pereira tonight in in exciting fashion. Go up a weight. Do, do better than you did last time at the bare minimum. He can etch away at, at, at an all-time great list for sure. Um, I don't envision him ever being top three even top five, but he can knock on the door. It's just, does he want to, or does he just want to sit back, rest on his laurels, make his peas and just keep it moving? I don't like, I don't like all this paint and his nail stuff and all that nonsense, but it is what it is. It is what it is. What can you do in this day and age? What do I like anymore? It's all over the gaff. BJ Penn, a lot of people are saying, call me AR. Yeah. Holloway is another one. Yeah, Demetrius Johnson mentioned him already, Pat. Does Jones being accused of doing steroids and not testing? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, it definitely has an effect on it, for sure. 100%. Um, especially the way it happened. Was it... Was it just, well, I say just the twice, but it feels like it was three times with John Johns or was one of them the the gun issue? I just feel like any time he's about to hit that or any time he hits that height, something happens outside of the cage that just brings his name into disrepute, whether it's a, whether it's the drugs, whether it's, I swear he had, he'd done something with a, with a gun out there. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I'm sure I remember his name being linked to the guns and straps and all of this. HM says I look sleepy. What do you expect me to look at five in the morning, my guy? <sighs> what can we do? This is what we have to deal with. UK fans watching the UFC. But I get a lot of people tuning into my big six and Arsenal games and saying, listen, it's 1.30 in the morning here. It's 3.30 in the morning here. It's 4 in the morning. It's 6 in the morning. So this is... This is... Just the other way around. Here I am. Why have my BT Sport just got a logo on the fucking screen? What's going on here? Oh. I thought my thing froze. But we're back. We're back. Gordon says 5 a.m. is crazy. 
What's that? Zar. Is that is that Zar Zar, yeah? Come on, Zar. Turkish ball, we might mess around and actually win this thing, my bro. Listen. I'm moving in silence when it comes to that. I'm trying to move in silence, but you see on the big six, certain time I just have to quieten down some of the some of the others. Or I have to, you know, send a, a quick few shots around the screen. Car. You know, the chest is coming out. It's hard. It's hard to keep it all on the reps, but we get to March, April in this position, then it's a free for all. It's a free for all. I'm gonna clean up the division. <laughs> I'm going to clean up the big six division. Let Arsenal do their thing. If Arsenal win the league, it is a wrap. It is a wrap. It's a wrap. I don't even know what, what I'm going to do, but it will be a wrap. 100%. The first thing I'll do is skull fuggery. Every clip from every United fan, Chelsea fan, Tottenham fan, Liverpool fan over the last two, three years, every clip you can find, just knit them together and make, just make something, make something. And here's a bag for you. Just make something. Oh, let me not even talk too much. Let me not even talk too much. Like I said, March, April, May. Then, yeah, we move. We move. I said, Pat and Toby, I beg. <laughs> Tobes is Tobes is mad, you know. You know, you, see, you know when I said that raised in the mud line, yeah. Someone in the comment section, it, it reminded me of you know Bane raised in darkness. How do you get at a man that supports a team that that gets at him and, and ruins him every season? How how do you how do you get at a man like that? The guy is just like a, I don't know, it's like a repellent. But yeah, you've saw over the last few weeks. Sometimes we have to quiet him down a bit, but it is what it is, man. Big up Tobes, man. Very good analyst of the game. I will give Tobes that. Even though he's a Tottenham fan, he, he speaks very well and he discusses the performances very well. Um, and when he wants to, he does it without bias. So big him up, big him up. Top three heavyweights of all time, um, Eli. Top three heavyweights, what, UFC? I don't think you mean UFC. I don't think you mean UFC. You probably mean boxing. And for me, you see Cormier, he's done a top five list recently. I've, did you not see that Cormier top five list? Embarrassing. And I respect Cormier as well. Did you not see that? Oh, yeah, UFC. Or, um, Stipe. I'm definitely forgetting names in the heavyweight division. I say Stipe Cormier. Mm. Remind me of some names. Remind me of some names. Velasquez, yeah. I swear he he went out on a mad one recently. I don't know what happened to him, but I read something. I read something crazy. Stipe. Call me a front. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Nganu's probably there as well, if I'm honest. Nganu's probably there as well. Um, I see a lot of people saying embarrassing for DC's for DC's list. Yeah, Muhammad Ali is by far. I don't care if the majority of his his praise comes from outside the ring. Muhammad Ali is by far the greatest of all time. Greatest. The greatest person in the public eye of all time. And I mean this as in terms of through a sport or through acting or through like an entertainment industry. He is the greatest person of all time. Because he didn't, he had talent. 
he was the best and he risked it all for what he believed in and it's not often high profile celebrities or high profile sportsmen or high profile anyone risks it all for something they believe in he risked it all multiple times he risked it all so i get what dc means about a lot of muhammad ali's um love comes from outside the ring but inside like what did he say about who else did he have in the list gsp he said something about he came after his prime and still won the belt ali did the same thing ali was stripped of his belt four or five years without um any boxing whatsoever because of the whole u.s army system fiasco and he came back and still done his thing against some of the great some of the other greatest boxers that in the heavyweight division that we've ever seen and um, you know mike tyson is also up there um in terms of boxing as well but in all honesty you know tyson fought people like mike tyson maybe maybe not as aggressive maybe not as powerful well, yeah probably more powerful probably definitely bigger tyson was smaller than foreman and more agile but foreman was probably more powerful i don't think anyone can touch muhammad ali anyone so it's muhammad ali one and then if one's there then two needs to be somewhere there because there needs to be a gap because ali's gone he's gone um but yeah that list was embarrassing from dc i'm trying to think of who else he had in the list who did he have number five was it ronda rousey this guy did a top five combat com, combat sports of all whatever it was all time. Was it Ronda Rousey? He put fifth. Khabib's second. Yeah, but Khabib's his guy. Khabib's his guy. It was bound to be. Diallo says, Turkish, they even tried to poison us today. We move. I'm hearing things about that. I'm hearing that it wasn't it wasn't just um Xhaka that was ill or or, or sick. I'm hearing that a few of the players were. Lennox Lewis deserves his flowers too. I get that. But when we're talking about Ali, no one comes in the same sentence as Ali. Nobody, in my opinion. It should be in everyone's opinion, but opinions are... Amanda Nunes, that was it. Sorry, not Ronda Rousey. Amanda Nunes. Yeah, that's... It's, nonsense. Nonsense. DC's this was embarrassing. And Stephen A. Smith didn't know what was going on in that conversation. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> let's see what... what, what. Adesanya's entrance is saying, um, where are we? Guna San says, big up yourself, Turkish. Don't let Steve and Hugh get off light with the city loss. Get Tobe some help. He won't report the abusive relationship he's in with the spuds. Listen, there's no help in that. There's no help in that. It's by choice. They're locked in, in whatever people say, in marriage, holy matrimony or whatever it is. Tobes and Tottenham, yeah, it doesn't end well. It doesn't end well. I've been saying winter's coming to him for a long time. I didn't know. I didn't know summer was coming for Arsenal, but I'm enjoying. Ali wasn't really a heavyweight. The heavyweight division was much smaller back then. Would get destroyed by today's heavyweights. Well, look at Foreman. Look at Liston. Um, who else was there? Actually, listen off the top of my head, I can't remember his height, but his build was definitely a heavyweight build. Foreman, there's no arguing. Um, Frazier, come on. And listen, Ali doesn't, I, I know what you mean. Ali was a small heavyweight. He didn't really look like a heavyweight, but he danced with heavy heavyweights. He just danced with them, whether it was wearing them out, rope a dope, and all of that, or whether it was jabbing them to death. Who was the guy? Who was the guy that kept on calling him Cassius Clay? And he absolutely battered him. But he wouldn't knock him out. He just kept on saying, what's my name? What's my name? Ali's the goal. Ali's the goal. Yeah, here's a few names. Here's a few names. Le well, Fraser, Foreman, Sugar Ray. Legends in their own right. You know? Um, Aiden says, big six fans that missed this stream, that's an L. 
listen, there's still 300 people here as well. Adesanya's getting ready to come into the ring. They're just doing their last minute um, preparation. Pereira's already in there. It's true, actually. When I think about the boxers in this day and age, aside from Tyson Fury, it's a joke. Heavyweight division is a joke. How can Usyk be next up? How can Usyk be next up? It's crazy. And the thing is, the, the thing about Tyson Fury is, don't get me wrong, he's in an awful period of boxing. But Tyson Fury is a fucking good boxer. He's a, he's a very, very, very good boxer. You know, obviously his natural build makes him difficult to fight against. But up there, IQ wise, he, he's clean. He's clean better than anyone else around him. Clean. And that's something Ali had. His IQ was just di different class. The role product, for example, who, who would have thought that? Who would have thought, let me just get, you know, let me just lean up against the ropes and get battered for a, a good few minutes, a good few rounds tire him out hopefully 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 don't wear myself out hopefully don't get knocked out and then my time will come listen and that's probably the only way he could have beat him but he did it executed it to a t really impressive u6 says t so am i u6 so again up there u6 quality quality but it speaks volumes for the heavyweight division in my opinion that he's already the Second in line, if we're talking about heavyweight boxers right now, Tyson Fury number one, it's Usyk number two. The guys had two heavyweight fights. So it just puts into perspective what the heavyweight division is now. So that previous super chat, I'd have to question again because Ali would kill these men. <laughs> this announces on it. Pereira just looks very serious. Adesanya, a little like cheeky look on his face. What's the poll saying? What's the poll saying? There's 300 people here. Hit the like button. 308 likes. Love to see it. Let me see what the poll saying. 73 percent are saying Adesanya. 27 percent are saying Pereira. So, yeah, everyone favours Zhang in the last one. She got the job done. Everyone's favouring Adesanya in this one. Five-round fight. Do we think it goes the distance? Let me close the poll. So, everyone's favouring. So, we've got 275 votes, 73% in favour of Adesanya. I'm going to put one more in. Does it go the distance? Let me put it in start a poll. Does it go the distance? Yes, no. Auto community. You can get them in there. No one be a smart ass and wait for it to fucking end and then make your vote. Yeah. Teixeira. He's got... Actually, that's the other card this year, isn't it? Prokaska against Teixeira, no? Am I wrong? Is that this year? Someone help me out. Someone help me out. Robbie says, you think Ali would have beat Tyson Fury? You see Tyson Fury, his build is mad. He's a very smart boxer, but I've just got faith in Muhammad Ali. Um, or I would have had faith in it if such a matchup was to occur or be able to be made. I just think he, he showed himself. He, he stepped up so many times. He... he for adversity came back past his prime beat a lot of the man that even at the time i've watched so many documentaries on ali i've read two of his books i've you know even will smith's movie of ali that's one of my favorite movies even though i don't think that movie done justice at all ali is like an idol growing up he was someone i looked up to fought for fought for his religion 
fought for his race, put it ahead of his talent, his business, his work. I respect it. And not only that, he come back full circle and still did his thing. You know, n- none of them wanted him to do his thing. He came back and done his thing. Look, Pereira straight in with a kick. <laughs> okay. Adesanya moved that out of the way of that nicely. Again, people, it's one of those fights you can't take your eye off it. So I have snacks here and everything. I haven't even delved into it. Look, this is it. I thought, yeah, it's a UFC watch along. I've got some honey salted peanuts. I've got some Thai sweet chicken McCoys. I've got a glass of Coke Zero. It's late, no sugar. I haven't even touched them. The time's actually flown by. How long have I been live? One hour, 46 minutes. I've been talking here for one hour, 46 minutes. Okay, no. Pereira going for some leg kicks. Trying to weigh each other up. Minute gone. Mm. Yeah, Pereira's getting the leg kicks in. He's getting the leg kicks in. Yeah, he's, that's at least four kicks to that lead leg for Adesanya now. He needs to be careful. Pereira playing it smart so far. Adesanya quite, I say quite offensive. It's 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 not that offensive, but in comparison to his recent fights, he's he seems more on the front foot than he has been. Um, we've got another one from Nima Super Chat. I'm going to save that one to the side once we get a break in in between rounds or if the fight ends early. I'll get that one in, Nima. Don't you worry about that. Love for everyone sending in the Super Chats. Love for everyone engaging. Oof. Oof, he gave Pereira something to think about there. A little right hand. Didn't really have him stumbling, but a couple steps back. His eye looks a bit... Did he get him in that in that right eye? Oh, am I seeing things? Pereira's eye looks a bit bruised. Maybe I'm just tired. It's 5.30 in the morning. My eyes are just getting a bit. I've got this light in front of me as well. Whose idea was it to turn it back on? And I'm hungry, man. My belly is just rumbling. What's the time? 5.30. I might even hit up a McDonald's breakfast. I can't even lie. Forget these nuts and forget these crisps. Yeah, I think might need to go get a McDonald's breakfast. Or he says, kill the light. If I kill the light, you see this MacBook that I got? Yeah, it's not the latest, latest MacBook. It's the one before the latest one, and it's 720, the camera. So if I put the light off, it's like the hate, the HD-ness of it all just, it just looks all, and I don't like that. I like my, I like my channel to be, setting the standards even though it's not but big sixes though but i mean i like it to be crisp and the light brings that crispness so it is what it is to be honest it's probably getting light outside soon enough anyway yeah not a great first round if i'm honest a few leg kicks from Pereira, a few sighters from adesanya Nice leg kick there from Adesanya. Coming up to a minute gone. I expect the fight to get better. It is a five-round fight, so... It's not one of them where you have to put it all on the line in the first round. Adesanya is opening up a lot more than I have seen him in recent fights. Pereira's walking him down quite well, though. Oh, yeah, Adesanya, oof, oof, the knee nearly. Adesanya needs to significant strikes, 19 of 38 for Adesanya, 19 of 34 for Pereira. So a slightly better rate for Pereira. Oof, that's a good knee. That's a good knee. 
in all honesty, with 10 seconds left to go in this round, Pereira's probably got this one. Pereira's probably got this one, which which goes a long way. Oh, hi, Pereira. Hi. 10 more seconds, Pereira would have been out of here. Out of here. 10 more seconds, Pereira would have been out of here. Dave, I know this is the this is the Adesanya that you know we want to see. More on the front foot, try and pick him off. All right, he knocked him. He knocked him. Is his, is his ear bleeding? All right, saved by the bell indeed. Saved by the bell indeed. Let me see this again. It wasn't even it was yeah he 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 hit him in that no 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 his face he didn't know where he was that strike was nice covered his eyes with the left hand and then hit him with the right didn't know where he was so as much as I said Pereira has that round I think that late that late flurry let's say from Adesanya probably swung it in his favor. Probably swung it in his favor. So I'd say I'd say Adesanya for that first round. Because he's he's freeing up a bit more now. The, the high leg kicks. <laughs> Dancing in front of Pereira. See, we need to see a bit more of this. When you're champion and, and you become a champion being a showman and being the style bender and and using your whole body. I mean, Adesanya is... It's a roundhouse. Sorry, I know I'm not engaging with the chat right now, but... Zoe says, is he going to lose? I'm calling it right now. Look, Pereira's... He's a bit shaky. He's still he's still pushing him back, but he's a bit shaky. He's not really throwing as much anymore. He's a bit more weary. He's, the leg kicks are a bit tighter. Oh, nice jab there, though. Nice jab there. Adesanya's got to be careful, you know. Pereira's knocked him out before, so... he, You know, that goes a long way. When you know you can knock a man out, that goes a long way. Yeah, a lot of Pereira's strikes are coming to the legs, mid-drift. Adesanya's are more evenly spread, a lot more to the, the head, or double. Tariq says, Izzy seems nervous. I hope I'm wrong. Mm, I know what you mean. But I would have thought that end to... Look, look, look. Adesanya's playing a risky game, you know, just opening up like this. Like I said, he's been knocked out by this man before, so I'm quite shocked that he's he's quite open against him and allowing him to get him on the fence and get him on the cage, sorry. He's turned it around now, though. Two and a half to go halfway through the second round. <laughs> Adesanya... I'm trying to take him down. <laughs> Calm it down, Adesanya. Oh, oh, oh. His leg shook a little bit there. Another strike to the head from Adesanya. He's got his number in that sense. He can knock him out. And he'll do wonders for, for, for Adesanya's reputation, legacy, and so on. Look at the movement. Oh. Adesanya's playing a risky, risky game here. I can't even lie to you.
Maurice says, is, is, is he showboating? Um, first round, he done a bit of showboating. This one, he's not necessarily showboating, but you know when you're sometimes so open that you're taking the piss? That's what I feel like he's doing at times. Like lying back up against the cage and just leaving his hands down or, or, or allowing Pereira to take a strike or two. Johan says Turkish three rear naked chokes in a row. Three in a row, was it? Now Ed got knocked. Edgar got knocked out. The Dan Hooker one, the guy just called it a day. I think it was a it was a body. Ooh. Big head kick from Pereira. And the center just shrugged it off though. But Pereira's got this round. I know I said that last round, and then Adesanya nearly knocked him out in the final few seconds. But this round, Pereira's got this round. No, he's trying to take him down now as well. Seven seconds. Is he going to get it in? Yep. He just gets it in as well. Pereira's got this round. So I'd say it's it's 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Um, take down certified that at the end. Terry says, Izzy was fighting too reckless. He's at his best when he fights at a distance. And Dave says, Pereira has surprised me, to be fair. He ain't beat anyone good in the UFC, but he's doing well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. What is it? Three fights in the UFC? Two knockouts, one decision. Not the greatest of records. You know, it, this was more, you know, Dave, you said it at the start. This division needed something. And I think this was Dana's roll of the dice. You know, Pereira coming back in. Not coming back in, but coming in with the history of with Adesanya. Fast track him. Yeah. Pereira, Pereira won this round pretty easy. And the thing is, he won it with striking as well, which is quite surprising considering how good um, Adesanya is. Um, we had a super chat here from Nima. Oh, there we are. On the subject of Ali, he said, Ali wouldn't be a heavyweight today. This weight difference between him and Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Klitschko's are massive. Same with Foreman. Same with Frazier. That's what I'm saying. That He, he was fighting big man. People, you know, fighters bigger than him back in the day. He just dealt with them the same way he'd deal with anyone. And don't get me wrong, he wasn't flawless. Um, but this whole fascination with a clean records has only really come about recently. Obviously, Mayweather is, is the one really behind pushing that. Khabib's got it in the US, in UFC. But a lot of pundits and, and fans and so on, they, they hold that, oh, that, that no loss record so high that in my opinion it's wrong it's it's having no losses that and Floyd never talks it up a lot oh he got a couple in there Adesanya he started this round well um yeah the old thing for me it's not that big a thing it's a great achievement don't get it twisted it's a great achievement but and Floyd made whether it is a great but yeah, it's not the be all and end all for me. Okay. Will that count as Adesanya takedown? I know I know Pereira initiated it, but Adesanya used his body well and took him took him along. Oh, he's got him down again. There you go. Good strikes as well from Adesanya. Oh, he says, I want Adesanya to lose the title. And so he says, I'm probably wrong, but fuck it. Um, Soham says, Turkish, who's in your top three in the UFC? Um, now, um, now, I like, I like Leon Edwards a lot, you know, and it's not because he's just because he's from the UK. He's actually a very, very good fighter. He's not a dominating fighter, but he's a very good fighter all around. Um, I mean, he's learned from his losses in the past as well. He's not the greatest wrestler, but he's a better wrestler than he was when he first fought Usman. 
and that setup for the, the 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 leg kick and the knockout was beautiful. But I'm not. He's not my favorite. Listen, McGregor is my favorite, but McGregor hasn't been active for for so long. So yeah, just seeing how the center keep control here. Um, if we're talking about right now, Kamzat is probably the one I'm looking at most. Kamzat Colby is going to be some fight. I can't even lie. Kamzat Colby is going to be a. I can't wait to see that because Colby's tough. I'm, you know, I might not like his character, or his per the person outside of the fight business, but he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. So far, Adesanya's been all. I say all over him in this round. It makes it sound like he's doing something, but he, he's winning this round. He's keeping him down. He's getting. He's getting shots in here and there. Pereira's trying to get up now. Pereira. Ooh, Pereira tried it. He tried it, but I just had to go out of it. Um, <laughs> Dave. Oh, is he? So you're a wrestler now. <laughs> Big up Nate Diaz. Uh, that was jokes when he said that about me. Oh, you're a wrestler now. Do you, um, Dave, and whoever else that's here, watch that 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 watches the UFC. Obviously, um, you you're all you all must be fans. But do you all um follow that? Subscribe to that YouTube channel, Mohammed. Let me find it. What's his name? Mohammed Satin. He does the the cartoons. Where is it? So let me find out the name. It's, nothing's happening. This father son is just on top of him at the moment. He's won this round. There's 30 seconds to go. Mo, not Mohammed, Majahed. That's it. The cartoon video guy. Yeah, yeah. Him. Him. The way he uses that. Oh, so you're a wrestler now. And let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. And all of that. The way he uses all of them is, is class. Even the. He even pretty much predicted that. Oh, Adesanya just tried to. I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, Adesanya won that round. Two one Adesanya. Um, yeah, that Majahed. He's he's quality, man. He's quality. He's quality. If you don't know about him, search him up. If you search Majahed, then he'll you, come up. He'll come up, but he's quality. Yeah, he predicted the Leon Edwards um, Usman fight. Pretty much predicted the way he'll end as well. Feels like it's been a long time since um, Pereira was wobbled in that at the end of that first round. Two one other Sanya heading into the fourth round, people. That's illegal, Maury. You know, you know that's illegal. Remember when um, Leon Edwards? What was the Leon Edwards one? That's nine fights. Oh, what was it? That's nine fights. I deserve a title shot. I was sat in. He was rinsing that out. But yes, follow up Majahed. <laughs> follow him up. My foot was a balloon. <laughs> and McGregor's a madman. My foot was a balloon. <laughs> I hope McGregor comes back and wins his first fight back just so we can have a little, you know, resurgence. I don't even know if he's going to come back. Do you guys think he's going to come back? Do you guys think Mr. A in the building? Turkish, you being up now is mad. I'm shattered in the UK, but F it. This is what, this is what I actually love the UFC. I can't even lie. I, I must do. I mean, when I was younger, I used to stay up for NBA. I used to love the NBA. I supported the Indiana Pacers. And then we had that massive brawl against Detroit. Yeah, good times. But um, i kind of fallen off the NBA over the... Uh, not kind of, I have fallen off the NBA. Now it's the UFC. If I sacrifice my sleep for Saturn, I must love it. Oof, good kick. Good kick from Adesanya there. Got 310 in the building. 
hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe if you're new subscribe if you're old put the notification bell on more of these coming previews reviews maybe not a review maybe we just make this the review at the end of the watch along but previews for sure I see how Bisping and Cormier and all of these that I do, they're doing their previews. I'm going to join the club as well. I'm going to do previews as well. Hopefully one day I get a chance to, to maybe interview some of these fighters and some of the people involved in the UFC. I'd love that. Oh, Adesanya seems to be taking control of the fight now. A lot of strikes in this round so far. Coming up to three minutes remaining. Pereira's slowed down. He's not. He hasn't thrown anything for a little. Still ain't thrown anything. Pereira hasn't thrown anything for a good minute. Probably more. Not a leg kick. Not a sh not a, not not a jab. Not a hook. Nothing. His legs getting a, a a bit of a battering. He's blocking the the strikes to the head and body though. But at this rate, he's he's gonna he's gonna go out losing on points. Thirteen of thirty distance strikes from Adesanya. Four of ten from Pereira. That shows you who's the more. Who's the more active and they're grappling now. This is what I mean about engaging. If you did, Pereira hasn't engaged in a little while and the fight's got a little bit dry. That's because Adesanya needs needs the opposite the opponent to, to engage. He needs it. You see in the first round, towards the end of it, especially with that with that wobble from Pereira, Adesanya thrives off of the opponent being on the on the front foot. Got him up against the cage, a minute and a half. Olamide says Pereira is done. Um, Ramon says Pereira didn't want to go this far. Dave said Izzy finally has an entertaining fight on the feet, so he decides to become a wrestler. <laughs> T says, I don't see the aggression on Pereira's face anymore. Yeah, he looks a bit... I think that last comment was right. He's getting into murky waters for him now. Fourth round, fifth round, a minute away. I can't lie. I want Adesanya to go for the knockout. Ooh, it's there for him. Pereira's he's letting loose again. Maybe he's built up a bit of energy. Maybe that was his plan, reserve some energy, but for about three and a half minutes of this round, he he didn't throw a thing. Adesanya just tried to take him down quickly there. Body shots on Pereira, but nothing really behind them is what it is um Pereira emptied his taxes tank sorry says Diallo yeah Mr A says he's knackered Adesanya in round three took so much energy from him he cannot move one good hit and he's gone but he was nearly gone from one good hit at the end of the first round let alone now but don't get it twisted though Adesanya needs to be weary because likewise Likewise with Pereira, we know one good hit and Adesanya could ooh, could find himself. Fourth round, done. Three, one Adesanya. Pereira's lifting up his arms. He needs to, I don't know if he's trying to pray or, or, or ask the crowd for help, but at three, one, with one round to go, there's only one thing he, needs, he can do to win this fight, and that's knock out Adesanya. Knock out or submit, but, the, the, you know, it's... It's more likely it'll be a knockout, if anything. But to be honest with you, it's more likely this fight ends with Adesanya winning the fourth, well, winning the fifth round by ease, winning his fourth round of the fight, and and you know securing his securing his bag again for the foreseeable future. Team Pereira needs the combos, which I agree with. Adesanya is quite open at times. Pereira hasn't really taken advantage of it. Adesanya has been more open and hasn't really 
I, I thought Adesanya would would use his kicking to keep the distance between them, but Adesanya's actually been going in, getting in close, which at the start I thought would be a problem, but so far so good for him. A leg kick, a couple of kicks, one leg kick, one body shot to start the round. That tweet that just came in on the screen in the bottom left saying they reserved their energy in the fourth round for a blockbuster fifth round. Hope so, because I'd like this to end with a knockout. I did say earlier that I think this would be more exciting than Chandler Poirier. I was wrong, even though I think Poirier Chandler wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. But yeah, this definitely hasn't been as good as I thought it might be. But it is what it is. Um, Usman says, "No lie, bro. You could realistically get into the in get." Izzy just had to duck out there. I think he's all right, though. It seemed like there was something wrong with his leg, but he rolled out of it and he's back on his feet and looking all right. Looking all right. Um, interviewing fighters, do one with a British fighter, and that's the avenue. Troops knows Leon Edwards, does he? I ain't spoken to the troops in a little while, but I'll speak to him soon enough anyway. I'd love to interview Leon Edwards, man. Oh, Izzy's gone. Izzy's gone. Izzy's gone. Izzy's gone. Izzy is gone. Izzy is gone. Oh, my days. And the referee stopped it. Why is the referee stopping it? Why is the referee stopping it? Pereira. Pereira. Bro. At the sign, it was just too open at times. That like, this is mad. Mad. He pulled it out the bag again. Again. I don't like how the referee stopped it, though. You know. I feel like just just let him let. Him. I think it was a bit too early, but but it, he was on the way to winning it for sure. Mad, mad boy. Here we are. Unbelievable. It's too early. Um, like the old fight says Tariq. Look, it was that right. It was you see did that this was his downfall in the end of the senior being and allowing him look at this look at this oof actually on second four was the stoppage too soon Adesanya was moving, but he, he his eyes were gone. His eyes were gone. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the stoppage wasn't too soon. I'm just here watching it again. Look, he's he was out on his feet. He was out on his feet, and to be honest, Pereira even stopped punching as well. It, it, it was it was only going to take a couple more, and then Adesanya would have been would have been gone. Pereira pulls it out the bag. Mad, mad. Fifth round. Knockout win for Pereira. No doubt about it. We're seeing this fight again in the next four months, three months, because this is the only fight worth anything in this division. I'll be honest with you. What's he saying there, Desanya? As soon as Pereira sniffed blood, he was on it. It's like he got a second lease of life and just started throwing heavy shots again. Adesanya, boy, 
Usman earlier this year. I've got, a, I've got a few Nigerian friends. They're not going to be happy about this. I tell you that. First Usman and now Adesanya. I do expect both to return and win their belts back, though. I'll be honest. But get your care as well. Mad. It's good though. It's good for the division. It's good. At least now we, you know, we see we see a rematch and we put this one to bed. Well, actually, if Adesanya wins it, then in the UFC it's one-one. But at least we get, you know, at least let me see how Adesanya comes in as as probably the underdog in the next one. Then again, Pereira Whitaker, I wouldn't mind seeing that. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Um, where is the poll? I should end the poll now. Yeah, actually, 50 50, 260 votes. I'm sure a lot of you lot voted after the fucking fight ended, but it is what it is. Um, mad, mad. Pereira, new champion. Is it at Adesanya rematch? Is it Whitaker? Is it who else? Mm, there ain't no one else really. Joe Rogan's with Pereira now. This is the new champion. Zoe says, good stoppage by the ref. Yeah, in hindsight, I, I, I think I agree. Um, Adesanya was just out on his feet. A couple more shots and he was on the ground. He, he was gone already. Um... Dave said Pereira comes forward so he could have a good fight with Whitaker. It's true. You know, that just sprung to my mind now. Because, you know, when, like you said, Adesanya just cleaned the division, it just felt like this division was done. But now Pereira's got the title. It's like, all right, there's a few match. Well, I say a few, but there's that Whitaker matchup and then obviously a rematch with Adesanya. Now it's live in the division up a bit. I don't think Adesanya should entertain even going up a division now. I think he needs to. He's just showing the replay again. Look, he, look, Adesanya, to be honest, I, I said it from early, this is a very risky approach from Adesanya, allowing Pereira to, to get you up against the cage. And he done well with it for four rounds, but in the last one, you get caught by someone like Pereira and this is how you end up. Yeah, in the end, he got at least five shots to the head. Here, he's not even looking, his neck is just, yeah. Oof, yeah, yeah, ah, fair enough, fair enough. Zoe's right. Um, it's always right. Good stoppage. Cams that would smoke Izzy. I, I tend to agree. Well, who won't Cams that smoke? That's that's probably a better question at this moment in time. It's hard. It's hard to see who who can stop him. But like I said, that Colby Cams that fight is going to be a very very good fight. If Cams that you know rolls over Colby then it's going to be hard to see anyone stop him, I'll be honest with you. And that's not me saying Colby's the best because he's obviously not, but he's a tough, tough individual who doesn't roll over, who it takes a lot to get him out of there. Cam's at Pereira one day, maybe. I'd like to hear from Adesanya, but at the same time, do I care much? I'll catch the press conference after. I'll catch the press conference after. It is five past six in the morning. How many likes are we on, people? We're on 370 likes. Not bad. Not bad for an early morning stream. I can't even lie to you. Um, Just to round up, Adesanya, TKO, fifth round. Pereira is the new champ. Zhang is the new champ. And Poirier... Sorted out um, Chandler, which still keeps his name in the hat for potential title shot and big fights moving forward in the next year. He was cocky. Hey, yeah, that's what I got from it. He was a bit too cocky, allowing himself to be so open against the cage. He was a bit too cocky, so... <sighs> I'm shocked, but at the same time, I'm not that surprised... And on that note, I think I can hear my son, 6 a.m. I thought I'm going to get some sleep, but instead, 
it's time for daddy duties people it's time for daddy duties um pray for me because i need some sleep but we're going swimming soon yeah let me get a couple hours in Oba says my two nigerian kings gone too cocky at the end he was he was very cocky at the end um <laughs> Eunice says UFC 4 cover change but at the Sanya on the cover for UFC 4 yeah Maury says cheers for the live Turkish big up every time says Ramon um big up Turkish great stream cams that would kill Pereira big up Turkish come on listen people it's been a good one I can't lie to you um good fights I think the three, the, I think the three main fights from Poirier, Chandler, Zhang, Esparza, and Adesanya Pereira, good fights, good ends to the fight, and we move, we move. It's made the division more interesting for sure, and um, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see what Adesanya has to say in his post-fight presser, which you can find on YouTube after. I'll probably check out in a couple hours, Mac Life, and I'll see it there. But yeah, I'm going to call it a day, people. I'm going to see what little man is saying. I probably sort him out some breakfast. Hit the like button on the way out. Share this. If you want to see more of this, then in the comment section, to get the live chat for a sec, in the comment section, leave your comments. What do you want to see from me regarding the UFC? Like I said, I'll preview the big cards. I'll go live for the big cards. Boxing, same way. I'll do the same. Let me know what more you want to see, how you want to see it. And if there's any other sports you want me to cover, let me know, even though I can't lie to you. I ain't got the time for it. So just tell me about UFC and boxing and what you want to see, and as well as the Arsenal stuff too. Me and Curtis, show soon come. I want to do something with Sharoy as well, but I'll keep you lot updated. People, hit the like button. Love for the love as always. I am out. Peace. <laughs>